And all the rats are gonna eat them. It's an orgy! Ew. Let the body <laughs> let the flow! Let the bodies at the flow! Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, thanks. Uh. They already did hit the floor. Many times. Ooh, it looks like two opposite walls are being bricked up. On the left wall, you see next to a small brick potion. Uh, potion. Keep saying that. You notice a small metal plate. Look at metal plate. Oh, you see a small metal plate mm. in the wall next to the brick stop archway. There's a hole in the middle of the metal plate. Um, it's key, isn't it? Oh. Is... Nevik wishes to know. Yes. Is it possible to not have anyone die? No. Everyone has that to die. That would be in this a game. no. It's Th possible no... to not find anybody. Yes, it is very possible but... to not find anyone, but that you will you will find clues of them dying, but you won't find their bodies. Oh hang on, I need to put my crank in here. Place. <sighs> Laura, you keep your crank to yourself, <laughs> young lady. With some effort, you're able to insert the crank into the hole of the small metal plate. It fits perfectly. As you slowly turn the crank, a secret passage opens <gasps> to another secret passage. Oh! So many secret passages. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, you have come upon some stairs leading upwards. You wonder where they might lead. Maybe up? Laurie, you're dead! Oh! <laughs> you have entered the small, cold, dark tomb. From the moonlight shining in through the stained glass window, you can make out four vaults in the wall and a small, and a stone sarcophagus on the floor. Each vault has a name. You awaken it. to find yourself in a dark, dark tomb. Room. Oh, I like it. The tomb. A dark tomb. Door is <laughs> barred from this side. Um. Uh, that doesn't make a very good sex table. Vault. You can't really fasten the straps to stone. Oh, you can't do it with your bare hands. Well, you've got a. Don't you have a pry bar or something? What do you mean I don't have it? Apparently didn't pick it up. Hmm. Yeah, I have to do a... Oops, back we go. Toodaloo. <laughs> How can you find the light switch? You're in a dark tomb! And do you see? Before, this was before electricity. <laughs> Do you see? No, I don't think you see, you idiot. Bullshit, you see! <laughs> You're in a dark tomb! <laughs> You're in a dark womb! Oh. Tomb and womb. Um. Remember that for Dagger of Amun-Ra. <laughs> yes! I hope you, you like stupid jokes. And Ziggy. <laughs> Oh, Ziggy. <laughs> Steve. Uh, oh, no, it's not in here. It's in the carriage room. Uh, which is up from here. I always forget which, like where the carriage room is is opposed to the, the stables. It's like, God damn it! where is it? <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. No, it's not in here. It's just going back. Non Euclidean geometry <laughs> of the Colonel's manor. What? Did what you the say fuck? the Colonel's McManor? <laughs> the Colonel's, oh, the Colonel's McManor. McManor, there we go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he had the first McMansion. Oh, I, I love both the Laura <laughs> Bow games. Although, I mean, I prefer Dagger, but that's just personal preference. Where the heck is this this um carriage house? I forget. I know it's on this side. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, uh, Didi. Where's the crowbar? The minnow. Who's in the boat? <laughs> Okay, pick up the look in the carriage. Okay. Yes, my pup. You are yes, you have the crowbar now. You have a little bird duvet? How do you, oh. how do you have a dagger of a rod duvet? Like, what? Custom I'm printed, I'm guessing. Yeah. I, uh, what's it called? I recently found out about uh, what's it called? Waste canvas, where you basically tack on a uh, embroidery thing that you can take off. So, I look forward to embroidering mm. some things. Mm. Yeah, neat. Nice. It is a great cover, um, Dagger of Hermin Ra. Of Laura just looking back like, ooh! <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? Okay. Yeah. Colonel's bequest is his new biggest fan, my dog. Ah. He's obsessed. <laughs> Yay, Nikki's here. Um, Nikki. Crowbar on Ruby. Well, pry vault open with crow. But is that not clear enough? Thank you. <laughs> you enter. I mean, you insert the crowbar into the small opening between the legs. I mean, between the vault door and the toilet oh. hole. You then pull with all your might. With a loud crack, the door pops open. <laughs> Excuse me. Nervously, you peek into the open vault and see a leather pouch! Oh! Full of gold. Open pouchy. Get pouch. E. Look in pouch. You open the leather pouch and peer inside. It's full of precious jewels! Oh, look at them shine. Oh. Carefully, you close it again as to not lose any. I mean, what's it called? I, I, are they actually the Colonel's family? I think that they sold the plantation on. Oh yes, there you go. Oh, the bodies. Like, why would you? Why would you cover up your laundry? They would, like, you know. I think <laughs> Jeeves would have access to this, especially with the laundry chute still in um, operation. Be like, oh, you threw your laundry down there, but uh, we can't actually get to that part of the house anymore. So that's. Done. <laughs> mm. Okay. Dijon, Crouton, Soup's on. It's all so many mm. families. Soup's on! Soup's on. Okay, so. Uh, wait. What's after this point? I'm just trying to think. Oh, yes. You remember how Celie said she wasn't going out tonight? Uh, no, but sure. Let's, for the sake of argument, let's say I do remember. Well, after a certain period of time, she just goes, <laughs> I'm not going out tonight. Oh. oh. Rudy, where are you going? Rudy, come oh. back. <clears throat> well, it turns out... Celicia I don't care. I'm going to the church. Oh, <laughs> so silly. What you doing here, girl? Something mighty terrible's happening. Like I can't remember my voice. Evil spirits <laughs> is all around us. I think we're gonna die before this night's over. Uh oh Ooh. no. I'm gonna die, Laura. Laura, I'm done. <laughs> Don't go down any dark staircases, Silly. You'll definitely die. She she does have a house, which is why this doesn't make any sense, because she said, I'm not going out there tonight. The spirits are about. Yeah. 
She straight up said, I'm going to hide in my house. And then she yeah. stops hiding in her house. Yeah, well. Uh-oh. We have a visitor's doll, darling. Sit up straight now. She's throttling that doll. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, puppy does not like Lillian. Our visitor is talking to us. Pay attention now. Oh my god. Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> what? We don't want any visitors. Oh, we don't want anybody to know our secret. Our visitor will have to leave this mortal coil. <laughs> You'll have to go. We don't want to play with you right now. We want to play with ourselves. Maybe Ooh. if we ignore her, darling, she will go away. Hush! You just Lily is lost me? in her own world. Lily. She doesn't seem to even notice you anymore. Cool. Be. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Is this a children's game? No. <laughs> this I mean, game I played... is for weird adults. We, I played it as a child. Did you play it as a child? I did not play it as a child. I played I'm it ready. as a man. No, <laughs> actually, I think I was... Uh... <laughs> I don't remember when I played it. I think I, I definitely played it after I played the Dagger of Amon Ra. Yeah. And I played I had... the Dagger of Amon Ra when I was in middle school. Oh, uh, uh, see, I so was about I... I was about eight or nine when I played Dagger. Okay. I had nightmares for weeks. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> oh dear. Like what's Johnny. it called? I really Hello, enjoyed fellow playing... humans and Rizulka. Oh. I, I really enjoyed playing, but like what's it called? Um my mom was like, why, why are you, like, to my dad, she was like, why are you letting her play this? It just gives her nightmares. And I'm like, I really <laughs> enjoy this game. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing Dagger and being like, this game sure is sexy for a kid's game. 